Hello and welcome. Thanks for watching our video. We're making delicious peas and asparagus in artichoke cups. Let's click the ingredients to make this dish. Four globe artichokes, one lemon, three cups of fresh or frozen peas, one quarter pound of fresh baby asparagus, three tablespoons of butter, and salt and pepper. Now that we have our ingredients collected, let's cook. I have a globe artichoke here, and I want to get to the heart of this artichoke, where there's a nice cup waiting for me for my peas and spring vegetables. So to get to that heart, uh, the first thing I have done is made some lemon water, because as I cut this artichoke, it's going to want to brown, and I don't really want it to brown. I want the cups and the pieces of artichoke to stay as white as possible. So the lemon water will help stop that oxidation. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut about a third of this artichoke away. You can see the artichoke is really just a flower that hasn't bloomed yet. And I can take some lemon and rub it on the top so this part doesn't brown too. And then I want to peel away these tough outer leaves. All the way around. And then with a paring knife just want to cut away these hard parts. You can go all the way down to the stem. There is some good eating in the stem. We don't want to waste it, so we'll probably just slice it up later and cook it and eat it. You can see the heart starting to reveal itself. It's exactly what we want. And then we can rub this with a little bit of lemon, keep it nice and white and bright. And then with our paring knife, we want to just start carefully around peeling and get more of that heart to reveal itself again. That's nice. I'll take these little tough bits off. And it's giving me a little road map. And I just want to make another cut, get the rest of the flower off. Get these leaves off. And there it's revealed the choke. I'll just take a spoon and carefully dig this out. And this is going to make our bowl, or if you're not using it as a bowl, it will reveal the whole artichoke heart and will be ready to cook or eat raw. You can marinate them and you can braise them, you can boil them quickly, you can do all sorts of things with the delicious artichoke. There's a little work getting there, but worthwhile. There we go. Nice bowl. Might be able to trim a little bit extra off there. And then a little, squeeze a little lemon in there and rub it around because we don't want that to be brown. And since it's a bowl, Quickly take the stem off, and there you have it, a nice artichoke heart. And then into the acidulated water so it doesn't get brown. I have on the stove a pot of lightly salted water, and I'm bringing it to a simmer. I'm going to add 
my artichoke cups and I'm going to simmer them until they're nice and tender. They're nice and tender and they're done. Ready to be filled with peas and asparagus. For the blanching of the vegetables I've created an ice bath. And after I've blanched the vegetables, they'll go right into the ice bath to stop the cooking. For the peas and asparagus in artichoke cups, I want to blanch the asparagus. So I've brought a pot of water to boil and I'm going to plunge the asparagus into the boiling water, let them cook until they're bright green and tender, and then plunge them into an ice bath to stop the cooking. Now these are baby asparagus and it won't take very long to cook them. My asparagus have been blanching for about a minute. They're nice and tender. You can see they've turned a nice bright green and in they go into the ice bath to stop cooking. Now for the peas, I'm going to bring another pot of water to boil. My pot of water is coming up to a boil and I'm going to blanch my fresh peas in it. I'll just put them right in. I'll we'll blanch the peas one to two minutes until they're bright green and just tender. The peas have been blanching for about three minutes. They're nice and bright green, just got nice and tender. And I'm going to remove them and put them right into an ice bath to stop the cooking. To finish my peas and asparagus in artichoke cups, I've melted some butter in a saute pan over medium heat. I'm going to add my peas and the asparagus. They're already cooked so they just need to be warmed through, tossed in the butter. Some salt, some pepper, toss, now I can fill my artichoke cups. I've placed the artichoke cups in a little glass dish and I have my peas and asparagus and I'm simply going to scoop the nice buttery peas and asparagus right into the cups.